Assalamu alaikum. I am Nilpar Yasmin. Hello my dear students. How are you? I hope you are well and safe. Dear students, welcome to my online class. In your last class, in your last two classes, I gave you some questions. I hope you did it. I want to see your homework. If you can't submit through mobile, you can send me an image of you homework after the class. And please do the assignment if you haven't completed it yet. I also give you a task. I hope you made it. Dear students, you can make the questions like this way. I am telling some questions for you to help of your assignment. Which elements is called the life of the soil? What exists in the interparticle space of the soil? What percentage of air is present in the soil? How many major components of soil are there? What percentage of mineral matter is present in the soil? What percentage of organic matter is present in the soil? Which soil is suitable for cultivation? What percentage of organic matter is present in the soil? Functions of organic matter is to which one of the following is correct? How many elements influence the physical properties of the soil? Etc. Etc. Dear students, today I discuss with you Chapter 3 Agriculture and Inputs. Our today's topic is Properties of Soil. Soil properties influence crop production. What kind of crops can be produced on which types of soil depends on its characteristics. Properties of all soils are divided into three classes such as 1. Physical properties, 2. Chemical properties and 3. Biological properties. Physical properties. Physical properties of soil mean number one, soil texture, number two, structure, number three, soil density, number four, soil color, number five, soil temperature, number six, water holding capacity of soil, number seven, air movement in soil. Chemical properties of soil. Chemical properties of soil mean number one, acidity and alkalinity. Number two, quantity of available plant nutrient. Number three, salinity of soil. Now I discuss with you biological properties of soil. Biological properties of soil mean type of microorganisms. Number two, number of microorganisms. Number three, functions of microorganisms. Dear students, now I discuss with you importance of soil properties in crop yield. The importance of soil properties is unlimited for crop production. Soil texture, soil structure, soil density, etc. Of the physical properties of soil influence crop production. The soil is classified into different categories according to differences of soil texture. Most of the crops grow well in loamy soil. Paddy grows well in clay soil, 
due to its high water holding capacity. Sandy soil grows groundnut, potato, watermelon, etc. Well, the arrangement of sand, silt, and clay in the certain defined pattern is called soil texture. Granular and crumbly soil structure is more favorable to crop cultivation. Plate like soil structure has high water holding capacity. Among the chemical properties, soil acidity, alkalinity, and salinity are very important. Most of the crops do not like high acidity. Alkalinity or salinity in the soil that means neutral soil is more suitable for crop cultivation. This kind of soil contains means neutral soil is more suitable for cultivation. This kind of soil contains higher amounts of available nutrient for plants and higher activity of microorganisms. Biological properties of soil are the quantity, category and activity of the living organisms and microorganisms like worm, fungus, bacteria, algae, etc. These organisms and microorganisms do much good in producing humus in the soil and making them available as nutrients for crops. Dear students, in your textbook, here is a task for you. Please, ready to help you, parents or brother or sisters. Please go down here, do this homework. Drugs and make 10 MCQ from lesson 3. Dear students, <coughs> next class I discuss with you irrigation. If you have any inquiry, please contact with me. Thank you.